In today's video, I'll be reviewing Manfriday's Render Cube product, which I think is going to help you be more efficient with your workflow in Dash Studio. And let's get into the video right now. Hi, my name is Harmi. Welcome back to my channel where I help you to master Dash Studio. Now, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any more cool videos that are going to help you on your journey. Having said that, let's get back to the tutorial right now. Welcome to this first part of the video. These videos are actually designed for you as a beginner to figure out what products are actually worth purchasing from the Dash 3 d store and the Renderosity store. So the product I want to discuss today is called Manfriday's Render Queue. I've been using it for the past six months and it's helped me a lot in terms of making my uh, workflow more efficient. So in this video, I'm going to show you my actual workflow using a Man Friday's uh, Render Queue product, which is really cool. And before we actually get to my computer screen, what I want to do is full transparency is this uh, video is not sponsored so uh, if you go and purchase this product then you're helping out the vendor and you're having out das 3d i don't make any money from this so full transparency right there having said that let's go back to my computer screen right now and i'm going to show you exactly how i use man friday's render queue and how it helps me in my workflow so here is the product in question man friday's render queue here it is as you can see i've purchased already so it's purchased here and this is the product I'll be discussing today. And the one con straight away that I forgot to mention, we're going to mention right now. And that con is that this is only for, product is only for Windows and it only renders uh, in iRay only. So if you have like 3D light rendering engine, uh, rendering engine, it won't, uh, it doesn't work for that basically. And don't worry about this where it says it's only for Dash Studio 4.1, 4.11. Uh, it's actually works for 4.12, which is the latest version of Dash Studio. So it does work with the latest version of Dash Studio. So don't worry about that. So you Mac guys, I'm sorry about this. This uh, doesn't actually uh, work for you guys. So I'm sorry about that. And if you're a 3D light, well, I really highly suggest you move to iRay anyway. I think it's the best render engine out there and it's free. It's part of Dash Studio. It's given to you for free. Uh, most, most other software, you have to kind of like pay for additional um, render engines and this is actually given to us for free so I highly recommend you move to iRay uh, to the iRay render engine anyway let's get on to uh, the actual uh, see how it works uh, Man Friday and let's go to Dash Studio right now so here it is this is just a scene from my comic book uh, don't pay attention to that it doesn't mean anything so where you find Man Friday's render queue is if you go to render here and you go to Man Friday's render queue that's right just click on that and you get this lovely screen here pop up so it's quite straightforward to use, very powerful, but very simple as well in the same way. So here, here basically the first section here, you got default output directory for renders. This is where your normal renders are stored. You can change this. So say, for example, for this queue that you're going to create, uh, this render queue, uh, you want to save it in a different folder. So you would go to browse and then change the folder. I'm going to leave that where it is, which is the normal, the default, the default uh, folder where it's always saved. And these are, as you can see here, these are the scenes that I've done previously. This is the ones I did last night. And these are the actual renders I went through. So I did actual 12 scenes and it's done all of them. And it gives me the render times as well. So how long it took me to or to render all these. So it took 29 minutes to do that one, 18 minutes. So it tells you like a brief comparison how long it took. This one here only took seven minutes, eight minutes. Uh, really cool. So it gives you some kind of information there as well. That one really took a little bit of time, only four minutes. Well, didn't realize that anyway. So how do we use this? So it's very straightforward. What I'm going to do is clear all these. Clear all means clear all. So I'm going to clear all those. Add a scene file. So you click here and then you would choose and it will go straight to your scenes folder. So wherever your scenes folder is, your default scenes folder, and you get to choose what scenes you want to add. So I could add as many scenes as I want to. So for example, if I wanted to add panel one all the way to panel 36, I'll keep the control button pressed. Uh, sorry, not the control button. I keep the first one pressed. I keep shift pressed. I'm going to go to the top and click the last one. I've highlighted all of those and I click open. And then you get this option here. So I've got 37 in my queue, 37 scenes that it's going to do. Now the option it gives you is it says, okay, what, uh, what cameras do you want to render? So it says here single view. So the single view is it will only render the camera that you set in the scene. So here in my scene, I've only got one camera here, which is going to render this. If I did all visible cameras, it will render all the cameras I had in my scene. So it doesn't render the perspective view. It only renders the cameras here like this with this icon here. So if you had a scene with multiple camera angles, it would do uh, all the visible camera angles for that scene. If you had a scene in here in your render queue that only had one camera, 
uh, associated with it and he had all visible cameras it would only do that one camera it would only render out that one camera so don't worry about that so it's up to you what you want to pick very straightforward very easy to use this four strand base here i haven't really uh, checked that out i never had a, a reason to use that uh, every other render that i've done with strand base here seems to work fine so whether this will this actually makes a difference or not it doesn't for me you'll have to try that yourself so i click ok all visible cameras uh, these, is, these options are straightforward. I can add the current scene. So if I just wanted to do this scene here, I could just do add current scene and it will add that to the list here. Uh, if I do remove, it will remove all these and clear all, obviously it will clear all these from the actual queue file. So when I click on an individual scene here, I can do defer, which means, hey, I've got it in my queue, but I don't want you to render it. Just wait, just don't render it, but render the rest. So that's what defer means. I could reset that. So I say, okay, it's in the queue. Scene options, again, I can click on scene option and it gives me this, this option here, which is what we've been through. So it gives me individual scene options if I wanted to do that. Uh, set target is where do I want to save this particular file? So you can say, where do I want to save the rendered file uh, for that particular scene? You can change that as well. So as you can see, it goes to the default render library. Here we can actually move move things up and down the scene. So I can in the actual oh, sorry in the render queue. So if I wanted, actually I don't want panel thirty six to be done first. I want it to be done last or let lower down in the render queue. I could move these up and down. Yeah, straightforward, really easy to use. And the queue options. So let's go to the queue options. Click on that. Now these are the default settings. I haven't changed any of these. And the way this works is you've got seconds to wait before loading a scene, 60 seconds, and then settle down period after loading each scene, 60 seconds. So what that means is the way the render queue works, as I'll show you very shortly as I click the render queue button here, it will actually load the scene and then it will wait for it to see to settle down, meaning it will uh, wait until the scene settled down in terms of the memory requirements, everything's all set basically. Kind of like, so the memories, the memories aren't going up and down. So, it's, so sometimes when you, um, load a scene and you hit render straight away it's still like getting all the textures ready and getting the memory ready and everything it's just waiting to settle down every scene after each scene and then after 60 seconds it will start rendering the scene uh, that's what that means so seconds to wait before loading the scene so it will wait uh, until it's loading the scene to clear out all the memory so it's trying to do its best to get that memory back especially for those of you that don't have much memory uh, with your on your computer it will try and uh, reallocate that memory and try and get that memory back because that studio uses a lot of memory and doesn't always give it back to windows uh, which is a bit of bad programming from that studio but that's the way it works so that's what these options do they try to uh, release that memory over here you've got method to restart that studio so i'll explain how this works as well so what happens is when Dash Studio, uh, sorry, when the actual Man Friday's render queue is rendering, after it's rendered the scene, it will close Dash Studio and then it will wait 60 seconds and then it will reopen Dash Studio and then open the next scene in your render queue. The reason why it does that is to really, again, release that memory. So it's going to have that uh, memory from the previous scene and it's going to release all that memory, give it back to Windows. Uh, and then it will obviously, when he loads up the next scene in your render queue, it will give all the required, it will take as much memory it needs because it will get back all, all the memory from Windows basically. So it won't, you won't basically keep, uh, basically Dash Studio won't keep hogging the memory of your Windows uh, machine. It will actually give it back to Windows and therefore not uh, slow down in the process. So these are the different methods to close it. I just use the original method here to restart, which is close Dash Studio politely, and that works fine. There's no reason really to use these other options. Um, I've never found no reason to use them. It's not recommended because it works as it is. Again, here you've got delay before shutting down and restarting Dash Studio. So I've never touched these settings. These are the default settings. 10 seconds works well. So uh, that's when it's shutting down, which gives you the option in the render queue uh, when I'm going to do it right now after this. And then the delay in the bat script before starting that studio again, which is the 60 seconds, which is the default. So I'm going to leave that as it is. So what we do now is you can actually uh, save this uh, render queue and then you can um, load it as well if you wanted to. So say if you've saved that render queue and you want to load it, you can do that as well. So, okay, start the render queue. This is where the magic happens. Your render queue has been saved. Um, I discard it. It's fine. It's just, it's, it's just saying that you've already done this render. Why are you doing it again, basically? So this is what you get. I'm just going to untick that. Uh, as you can see, this scene 36 is already open, so it's not opening it. And what it's doing now is waiting for the uh, scene to settle down. You can hit skip here 
uh, if you want to, which I'll do shortly because I don't need to wait for it. And then it will start rendering the scene and then it will start doing all the rest of this stuff here. Uh, it will start going through the process here, number four, number five, number six. Really cool. So the magic option here is what I love is a shutdown computer after rendering after the last scene in your queue. So I love this because basically what I can do in my workflow now, what I do is I will do, especially when it comes to the comic book panels or just when you're trying to create your scenes and get better at your craft, you're just creating, creating, making scenes, making scenes, trying new things, trying everything. You don't want to be sitting there creating a scene and then rendering it and waiting an hour, 40 minutes for it to render and then doing the next one. The best, most effective method way to make yourself more efficient with that studio and therefore improve your craft is to um, use this software where you can actually make loads of renders. So, you know, create all your scenes, five scenes, six scenes, seven scenes, whatever scenes you do. At the end of the night, put it on rendering. So let's put this back up where it's disappeared. Let me just minimize this. Um, it'll come up in a bit very shortly. So at night, I would do um, all my renders. So I'll put them in the uh, queue. I would add them all up and then I would uh, render, the, uh, render the queue. Tick that shutdown button here. I would tick this shutdown button here and then I would go to sleep. And in the morning when I wake up, my computer's, uh, my computer's shut down and I've got my 10, 15 renders for the day, which I can go through and do some post work and see where I need to improve. That's a much more effective way of um, doing your time, spending your time instead of actually, like I said earlier, where you're doing one render and then you're doing, um, you're doing one scene, sorry, and then you're rendering and you're waiting an hour. Not very effective method use of your time. Basically. So I'm gonna untick that. Now, the only time when the shutdown hasn't worked for me, this option, is when you have um, errors in your scene file. So if your scene file, when it opens, it has that message, uh, duplicate, uh, duplicate files found or something, it'll just, it won't do, it won't do, the, it won't do anything. It will just freeze there because it doesn't know what to do. So I'm going to go through that option as well, duplicate files, how to uh, clear that option because I know a lot of you are having problems with that, which is a topic for another video, which I will cover. And the other reason it won't, the shutdown button hasn't worked for me, this option is when it's, you have Windows updates. So if there's a Windows update and I've deferred it, as in I haven't restarted my computer, when this goes to shut down, the computer won't shut down, it will just restart uh, and apply those Windows updates and it won't shut down basically. So that's what happens uh, with that. So I recommend that before you run Man Friday's render queue is you make sure that if there was a Windows update, install that first, restart the computer, run your, uh, then load up Dash Studio, run the Man Friday render queue and you're good to go for the shutdown process here. So here, what I can do now, if I wanted to cancel it, I can cancel it. I can just click on the X here and that will cancel the whole queue as well. If you wanted to, for example, say, you know what, I don't want to do it now. I want to do it um, later or I want to change a few more scenes. I want to add a few more scenes. You could do that as well. So I can hit the X button here and that stopped. And then I could just hit cancel here and that stopped my render. So again, Man Friday's Render Cube product, very, very good if you're creating uh, comic books. If there's something you're looking to, that's going to definitely help you with this. If you're putting your content out on social media and you're trying to post every day, this is going to help you. So on the weekend, you can create five, six, seven scenes, render those, and then you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday sorted. You've got your, you've got a, 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 an image, a render ready for each day to post and it makes you look very more, it makes you more efficient at your process and makes you more um, better at your craft as well because you're creating more scenes in the same amount of time that everybody else has and that's going to make you better at your craft.